Cisco StealthWatch Enterprise 7.x, the web UI, investigating an alarm. We're going to focus on a worm. Um, so we're going to look at alarming host. We're going to focus on concern index, which is host exhibiting multiple unusual behaviors over time that could indicate uh, malware or an insider threat. So very quickly, we're able to pivot on those 12 hosts. And from here, we have a list of hosts with variety of uh, alarms that are triggered from concern index to target index to recon to command and control. But we're going to focus on this one workstation. It's 256% higher than the threshold. And when we get here, what we can see is a little bit about the source, the host groups, the IP address. Um, but we're going to pivot into the details. So what triggered this, right? And there's multiple things that could uh, trigger a concern index from things like address scanning, etc. Right? Um, so there's multiple events. So the security event that we can see here is address scan TCP 5900, right? And we can see that um, this is used to trigger the worm activity or worm propagation alarms. Uh, we're seeing uh, any attempts uh, typically being reset. Um, so that's interesting, right? So what we'll do is we'll drill into the associated flows. Now, at this point in time, we know the behavior is suspect, right? Um, especially if you're not running that uh, application or port in the environment. Um, so you could already start triage at that point. You could have quarantined the host, for example, if you integrated with Identity Services Engine. But maybe you need to dig in a little bit deeper, right? Um, to make sure that it's not a false positive. So when we go into the associated flows with it, again, we can see that peer port is 5,900 across the board. You see our peer host groups. We see uh, a little bit more details when we uh, pivot on the uh, Eclipse or the drop down little arrow. We can actually change the view to see this uh, visually, right? Um, that helps us show you know, the, the number of bytes uh, it, or packets one way versus the other way, right? Uh, but what we'll do here is we're gonna pivot on the host And when we do that, we can see everything around the host itself. So we see all the alarm categories. We see the host summary. This is where you could quarantine if you integrated with ICE. We see traffic by peer host groups. We can see the alarms in the past seven days. And we can see, again, that uh, address scan. And we can see all the IP addresses of those targets. Now, if we look at, uh, for, that was from a source perspective. We look at it from a target perspective. We can see that, um, We've got this 10.2023.110 that's doing things like stealth scan, source destination, uh, in this case 5900, uh, reset UDP. And we can come in here and we can drill into some of these events as well a little bit further. So again, we're not solving the world's problems here. I'm just giving you an idea of how you can leverage the tool. So you can see here the, the often indicates packet crafting, uh, in this case for stealth scanning. You can go down and look at you know the other ones as well. So at this point, that initial host, you're probably going to, you know, pull it offline and do some additional scanning on that box. So the goal here is after scanning, you might realize that it has malware. It may have been compromised trying to move laterally, but at least now you know, right? Pull it off the network, game over for the bad guys.